Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Oops, sorry. So we're going to do your love reading for July. We're going to do a Celtic cross reading. If you are new, welcome. Please smash that like button and do subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you want to get a personal reading, you can get a text reading with me or an emergency reading, phone call reading. Link is in the description box below. Okay. So let's get into this. This is going to be a message for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please keep in mind the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest, and there will be an extended reading that you will be able to purchase. The link will also be in the description box below. All right, Virgo. So let's see what's going on here. Okay. Ace of Swords in the past, but you also have the Ten of Pentacles showing up here for July. So there is this energy of perhaps needing to trust. Um, there's an avoidance to love. Okay. Uh, or having many options, not being sure whether to choose finances or love. Okay, there's a, this may have something to do also with money, finances, money, work situation. You might be in this situation here during July where you give a little bit to love, a little bit to money, <laughs> which kind of leaves you halfway closed off to both options, right? You're either in or you're out. That's what I feel like the full message here is. Now the past position is the Ace of Swords. So it looks like some clarity in, came in the past to you in regards to um, overcoming some kind of obstacles, okay? Initiation of communication with yourself, it feels like. Um, I feel like there was this energy of trying to determine how long something was going to take. Um <laughs> Because something in the past has taken a very long time in regards to some type of a relationship. Something going very, very slow or was going very, very slow in the past. Yeah, and the Knight of Pentacles kind of gives me an energy of like, you know, instead of getting a whopping bonus in your paycheck, for example, this is doing the daily grind and just getting a little bit, a little bit. There's some type of thing that happened in the past for you. Uh, in regards to a relationship where there wasn't this final, okay, this is it, this is it, we're doing this. There was more like, it's just going to take a long time, day in, day out, daily grind of a relationship, okay? Perhaps in regards to an Aries. I feel like someone that you were involved with, or maybe you're currently involved with them, um, maybe told you that they're focusing on being trying to be a better provider money wise or that they're working a lot or that they're just their priority is more so focused on their career or their work okay or it's i don't pick up an energy of someone who is spontaneous or someone who um you know, you date for a certain, like maybe three months, six months, and then in a year, you decide you're going to get married, right? Or you're going to make the relationship more exclusive. This kind of feels like a long drawn out thing in the past that perhaps you were involved in with another person. Okay. So with that being said, <clears throat> I see the present energy of two people coming together and still, still being together here with the two of cups but perhaps deciding that the relationship <clears throat> you're better off as just friends or uh, acquaintances there might have been some kind of break in the past um, and the reason for this where you and another person are i do see you and another person being compatible right but it feels like the challenge here is there's a lack of change. It's it's like this desire to change a relationship or change the dynamic of a relationship. Even if it's a friends with benefits kind of thing or just two people who 
have a connection but it hasn't gone anywhere it feels like it's kind of stagnant usually the two of cups this is like it feels like just two people who connect when they connect right and it's a very fortunate connection it's a very nice connection i see compatibility i see love i see understanding i see mutual uh acceptance of one another and it feels more like a soulmate or like a friend connection which is just as beautiful so there is an energy of where another person feels very lucky to have you in their life yes however i feel like Whomever it is that you have this connection with, they showed up as being someone definitely wishing for long term, but dictating in some way how the relationship should be, right? This is how they're going to do it, okay? And maybe you accepted that, but I do feel like somebody here, maybe there was a conversation or a communication in the past, like, this whoever your person is kind of saying to you look here's an idea <laughs> you stay where you are let's stay together but we're not going to further this relationship because i can't i'm not capable i'm not motivated i'm not ready okay i'm i'm, I'm working on i'm the boss i'm working on being the leader in things in my life okay uh, daily daily very focused on money but definitely wanting you to stay because virgo there is a great great connection it's favorable to them it's a benefit you bring a benefit to this relationship where i feel like they have somebody else in their life right someone who's supportive someone who's loving and compassionate and empathetic and caring okay but it, the challenge because the wheel of fortune is sitting here in the challenge position is to get this to shift or to have this change and it's just kind i feel like a stagnancy is current okay now what's driving this reading look there's definitely a soulmate connection here the six of cups is a soulmate card there is giving there is kindness there is love there is compassion there's understanding but the, which, what's crowning down on you is this energy of like needing to get some information, uh, needing to have some kind of conversation or to bring truth or to seek truth. Are we just friends? Are we going to stay just friends? Is, is this all there's going to be? It's going like the way the relationship started, maybe up, and, up to the point when you get to like the third or sixth month, it stalled. It feels like it's stalled. And are you wanting it to be more? Is this person wanting it to be? I don't feel like they're, I don't know if it's a lack of desire. It feels just about a timing thing that it's just not going to move forward for some reason. Um, let's see, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, clarified with the Five of Pentacles. It's, this person seems to be very focused on money, finances. That's their priority. They might be in a love affair with money um and you know the thing is when we're chasing money we're forever running after it forever then because once we get enough then it's, it suddenly becomes not enough you know and i feel like this person depends very much on you to stay put until what? Until they're ready to commit, until they're ready to take that leap of faith, until they're ready to just put that behind them and focus on having um, the benefit of partnership, love, union, a sacred union. So in the present energy, I do feel like this person probably watches you in some way to make sure that you're not going to leave or that you're not going to depart from them. They would be completely lost. Um, part, I will say, Spirit's telling me that part of... So, okay, let me articulate this the way they're saying it to me. I feel like... Okay, they're giving me the phrase, Why buy the cow? if you can get the milk for free 
Do you understand that phrase? So I feel like this energy is more like this person, they're on the edge in some way because they, they're, they're constantly watching to see if they're going to lose you and they might reel you back in with some kindness and some sincerity or maybe some gifts or um, something along those lines to... It's, I don't know if it's manipulative. It's because this Six of Cups does feel like kindness and sincerity. It is a good card. It could very well be that they have good intentions with you. However, they try to reunite with you. They keep watching. As soon as they feel like maybe you're going to slip away, then, then they run with this, try to reunite with you. So in other words, to keep it really simple, this person is very focused on themselves. They're focused on their money. They're focused on their career. They're focused on their goals. And you're on the back burner. You're still on the, the stove. You're still on the stovetop, but you're on the back burner of the stovetop. And the minute that you might put this person on the back burner and try to open yourself up elsewhere is when they come in and try to keep you where you are, right? They're very, very codependent, very dependent on you. I don't think this person could really function if you weren't in their life. They would have to scramble to find maybe... Uh, another dependence of some sort they might have um they might have like a, a like a love for money or it could even be gambling it could be a gambling addiction of some sort there's something definitely going on here that that feels it's like yes they love you but they need you more than they love you but they need you only to the point where they don't have to commit to you that's kind of what it, i'm picking up with these cards now that may not be your story but this feels like an angle here, okay? Now, the near future, my gosh, the Seven of Cups. So this is a lack of commitment. So if you're kind of thinking to yourself, well, are they or asking yourself, are they ever going to come forward? In the near future, no, it's still kind of the same. There might even be some ghosting where you're not hearing from, you guys aren't talking, okay? I kind of feel like this person... When you're not around or when you're unavailable for them, then they begin, then they begin, then they begin thinking about you. And that's when they're looking for you, just to make sure. It's kind of like, you know, the mouse running around the house. The cat sits in the corner of the room waiting for the mouse to come out. As soon as the mouse tries to get away, the cat pounces because it wants to play with the mouse. <laughs> Doesn't want to lose... Mouse, the cat does not want to lose its play toy, the play thing. And I don't mean for it to sound that harsh because they don't view this person as viewing you as a play thing. I feel like there is a very deep, loving, beautiful connection here. But I feel like the energy of this person, your person here is kind of like, I'm not ready. Um, don't leave. Don't leave me. Just stay where you are until I'm ready. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a, I mean, that's, I don't know if that's a tough thing for you or not. I feel like you have to make your choice for yourself, whether that's okay with you. Some people are willing to wait and they're like, okay, just, can you give me a timeline? Like, what's up? Can you give me a promise ring? If, if you're wanting more of a commitment, you could ask, can we at least get engaged or something, right? Everybody needs something. Okay. So your energy here, you have the eight of cups. So this is a card of moving on. And this sits in your advice. Let me get another card for this here. And let me clarify this. This sits in your, vi your advice to temporarily retreat and go look for your ninth cup. And what does that mean? Your wishes, your desires. Yeah, I feel like there's restriction. That's why they're saying temporary. I feel like you might not be able to fully leave this person because it's two of cups energy there's something good here i feel like part of you wants to walk away and open yourself up for someone who's not only in alignment with you but um is going in the direction if you're going in the direction of a uh, commitment or something more sacred if you're going if that's your if that's your plot if that's your course right but it's hard for you to leave 
that's what I feel like it's difficult for you to leave because there's such a beautiful connection here and you know it yet at the same time maybe it's not very satisfying because it it's not fully fulfilling your needs so then the question is do you lower your expectations and just accept whatever's being offered or do you because this is a beautiful connection you might not you might feel like you'll never find this again or do you just take a big risk and be like you know what i'm going to keep the faith i will find someone uh, that i can have this same mutual connection with that's beautiful and that also wants to go in the direction that i want to go okay so your advice is i feel like for july is to temporarily remove yourself from this situation and really give this some thought really give this some thought because you're you're restricted and i feel like it's your thoughts that are just kind of talking you out of leaving and at the same time talking you into staying right and that's the same thing talking you out of leaving talking you into staying but also trying to talk you into getting away you know and having a new chapter in your life so your advice here is to retreat for july and think about this thoroughly not in an emotional way but in a, maybe a more logical way as far as like getting your needs met and asking yourself where does this person meet your needs and where are they not meeting your needs no one can meet our needs a hundred percent right but the most important needs that you have are they ticking those boxes? Okay, so the person that we're dealing with here, look, they've got the Eight of Pentacles. I mean, this person is genuinely focused. They're so, they don't even see anyone or anything else around them except their craft, their work. They're very, they're very um, disciplined. I get this energy of someone who's very disciplined. And work seems to be, or their craft, their money, uh, their skills seem to be the most important in July. So you could you could walk away from this person and you may not even hear from them. Um, you could just temporarily retreat and you may not even hear from them because they're so focused on what they're doing, they don't even notice that you're gone. So if you're concerned about them being concerned about you leaving, I don't think it's going to be a concern. They're not even paying attention in July. They've, they've stolen away. They've snuck away. This person could be focused on their stardom. They could be focused on getting their own. Like I feel, okay, so the message Spirit's giving me is work is very therapeutic to them. It gives them a sense. I don't know if relationships are difficult for this person, but their craft, their hobbies, the things that they do, the tangible material things, give them a sense of um, security and is very therapeutic. Hmm, that's an interesting dynamic. Could be an Aquarius, could be an Aries. Let me see. Hmm. Yeah, this person's on fire for themselves first. First and foremost. Like I said, and I don't mean to for this to be disparaging. I feel like this person does have great affection and love for you. Is it deep, deep, deep love? Like in love? I don't see that. Two of Cups is here. I do feel like their passion, their, their first and foremost passion is, is for themselves. Um, and while that there's nothing wrong with that when it comes to being in a partnership, um, we do have to sacrifice, right? Partnership is about sacrifice. Sacrificing for each other, not our souls, not who, we, not ourselves, but sacrificing our egos for other for the other person. And I just get a sense that even with the Seven of Swords here, that this person comes off as very selfish and egotistical, and um, their passion and their fire and their lust is for self first, um, and. This is a tough message, Virgo. This is a tough message. So, hopes and fears. I mean, I do feel like you hope 
that there will be transformation to this, an ending of this, and a new beginning for you guys to get started in this life. But there's also this fear, like this is going to be the end. You know, and there are hopes and fears. And so, yeah, it's good to acknowledge your hopes and fears, but not... Um, I think it's good to to run on your logic about things more than your because okay. hopes and fears are basically emotions right at least in my view maybe i'm wrong but that's my view um so i do feel like okay there is scorpio energy there also pisces uh and cancer so let me take a look the king of cups and the outcome okay hmm the magician. All right, so let me tell you something. Before I, before because I'm going to finish going forward on this reading, okay? There's more to come here. But I am going, going to go into the extended in regards to the King of Cups with the magician and the justice card. Because I am, I am picking up, there is an energy of this King of Cups is for some reason, maybe this is the person that you're involved with here, uh, they are going to create a new type of beginning and do the right thing by you. Now, I don't know why that's going to happen. It could have something to do with maybe you're going to pull away and maybe this will be your final, you know, ending for the situation ship a relationship but we will go into the extended in regards to this to see what the outcome of this is going to be and why this is here and what's going to change or make this happen um so the link will be in the description box below the reading here you can click on that link as of right now i'm going to finish this reading to see what else to give you more clarity in regards to this situation because i do feel like this person like i said is quite focused on themselves um there's a I, I, they're just telling me there's a great fear of being poor or uh having or being in poverty so does that mean that this person is putting money over love uh, it does feel that way that's the priority and you know <clears throat> I think if that's like a long-term priority, then love opportunity is going to be missed. But if they decide, you know what, I'm okay, I can do this, I can, I can manage my finances, I may not be rich or wealthy, but I'm, I'm, I can feed myself and pay my bills, I should let someone in, right? And if they're not gonna do that, then like, you can't have both, you can't live, you can't, chase money and chase love at the same time at the same time you know one's always going to take precedence over the other all right let's see what your messages of love are here okay go slow take time to get to know each other okay i feel like your person is going slow and i don't think it's because they've they're still trying to get to know you they know you obviously they already know you this this is not the issue um, they're going slow because of everything else I said. And it's more so, I don't know if they're keeping you on a on a shelf. It could be. They might be making you like a placeholder until they're ready. That very well could be. But they might say, well, they're just taking time because of getting to know you. Well, if, if you've been together for 15 years on and off, yeah, I think you know each other pretty well. There's no. If it's been like, say, six months... Okay, I could see six months. I mean, it really takes a good two years fully, two to three years, one-on-one -on -one with each other on a regular basis to really get to know someone. You can never fully know someone that takes time. That can take a long time. But it this feels like it's been a lot longer than this. And it feels like this person is kind of just using that like i'm still trying to get to know you i'm not i don't know if i'm ready you know to fully commit yet or uh you know it's it's this it's that it just kind of feels like excuses okay what else does virgo need to know okay passion try something you've never done before virgo hmm where are your passions virgo where do they lie 
Is your passion for this person, are they on the front burner of your stove and everything else in your life is on the back burner? You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with putting love and partnership on the front burner and putting your partner on the front burner. But if you're doing it and spiting yourself by putting yourself on the back burner and this person has got you on the back burner, then your placement is wrong here. So what are your passions? Okay, what are, you, what are you going after, right? You and this person don't share the same vision. Currently, you're on different pages. Currently, you are on different pages, Virgo. What is their vision? Their vision is right here. Here's the star. The star is all about visions and dreams. When we look up in the stars. This person, they envision what they can accomplish in their life for themselves. So it's there. They are their own vision. They vision themselves. They only see themselves. Tunnel vision. They have tunnel vision on themselves. That's what I feel. And I know it sounds harsh. And I'm not trying to bring this person down, because I feel like there is a mutual love here, and there's a lot of wonderful things about your person. wonderful characteristics wonderful um uh, just in a lot of ways the way they are which is why you are listening to this reading and have this affinity for this person but i feel like it's not so much about your chemistry it feels it's more to do with your compatibility now the relationship moving toward a sacred union all right there's a lot of mixed messages here and this person, well, your person may have said to you in the past, look, we're just going to, I just need to take this slow, take time to get to know you. They may have said also, I don't know if I share the same visions of you, but I'm open to marriage and moving towards a secret. There's a lot of uncertainty that I feel here in this reading. Uncertainty. <laughs> New love or recommitment to love is developing. I feel like Spirit's trying to tell you, um, or trying to tell us here collectively, Virgo, that um, we're, we're definitely going to have to go into um, the extended. You know, the new love here. You have a choice. You have a choice to make. That's what I feel like you, you have a choice to make. Sometimes I feel like people will not give up a great love, even though they're not compatible and they're not on the same page because they have a fear that they will never find that again. And I can promise you, when one door opens, or when one door closes, another door opens, I can promise you that you will, if you were to put this relationship on the back burner, and open yourself up to someone that not only you have a beautiful connection with, that develops, that you both create together, but who will also be on the same page as you. Yes, absolutely. You can't you can't live your life in fear. Now, if you just want to stay friendly with this person, of course, you always have that option. But like I said, when I go into the extended, we'll see what's going to shift and what's going to change here. I just want to get a couple other messages here for you. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay. Children or childhood, revisiting old dreams or plans, embracing your inner child, the return of people or romances from your past, romanticizing how things used to be. Yeah, so I, like I said with the Six of Cups here, and that's twice, I do feel like there's always a comeback around with you and this person. There's always this revisiting that you guys have, right? And, mm, excuse me, <laughs> my stomach's growling, I'm hungry. Look at this phrase here, romanticizing how things used to be. And this is dangerous territory, romanticizing things that should not be romanticized <laughs> is might be might be the thing that keeps this cycle going right like the wheel of fortune it's a wheel the wheel just keeps turning but so unless 
But I feel like the, the wheel is like kind of stuck in the mud. You know, the wheel keeps turning and stuck. It's just spinning. Um, I feel like whenever you guys, and it's not just you, I feel like this part, your person here romanticizes you as well. Um, romanticizing is kind of like visions of glory. It's visions of grandeur of how it was in the beginning and trying to regain those feelings back. But you see, you keep regaining them back and then you feel them and then it drops and it doesn't go anywhere. And why? Because you and this person, while you might be emotionally connected and have emotional chemistry, the compatibility is an issue. Okay, you also have the Ten of Swords, the end of a situation that may bring relief, may bring sadness, it may bring both. There's an opportunity for new happiness. There's a weight that can be lifted off your shoulders, the end of an addiction or the end of something here, surrendering to something here. So you might be in this, you know, maybe you're not going to romanticize this anymore. Um, in July, you might actually, like I said, take this break, go off figures things out get your mind unrestricted from the hope hope can be like an addiction people get addicted to hope to the point where they're living their life in the future not in the present right um hope can be helpful to some there's the wheel again there's a fresh new start or the end of delays ahead of you sudden or unexpected progress a very positive change in your life there might be travel or a new vehicle as well coming into your life so yes change is on the horizon here definitely and there is change here with this person and like i said when we go into the extended we're gonna see you know uh, do you hear my stomach growling oh my goodness what's going on there there is going to be a change with this person a new manifestation of something here of them doing something right but I'm so curious to see how that's going to play out. Let's take a look at your cosmic insights. What message do you have here? Okay. It might be a pregnancy. <laughs> Somebody here is connected to some kind of a pregnancy. Now, it could be literally. Pregnancy can also represent a new beginning, birth of something new, an idea a change all right honeymoon phase <laughs> my goodness oh my goodness there's these two go hand in hand because when you go on your honeymoon that's when somebody makes a baby right oh my gosh okay now you just might be attending someone's wedding or a baby shower in the month of, Ju of july virgo that very well could be very simple something at that uh event ha gives you a light bulb moment so if you're going to something like that you might you some of you might actually have a light bulb moment in regards to this whole situation um and that light bulb moment is when the lights come on where it's like oh my gosh I, I can see everything clearly now. It's connected to that somehow. Okay. Hmm, someone else. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. Okay. Now, for some of you, there is a possibility, a very small poss possibility that your person does um, engage with others or another person. Now, when I say someone else, okay, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's an affair or uh, cheating or anything like that. But there could be someone or other people or a thing that, and the thing that I'm picking up here is this person's ego or their love for money or their fear of poverty. Uh, it's definitely third party energy. Now, if you happen to know for a fact that your person has just been keeping you hanging while they're playing the field, well, then that's your story. Um, 
with another person. Uh, but it could also be there's other influences and it may not just be money. It could be friends. It could be family. And these might be deep-seated things that you don't know about, but it doesn't matter because when there's a true sacred union, nothing can come between that. So there's definitely influence. <laughs> Cold ticker. <laughs> Virgo, do you have a lot of money? Are you wealthy? This person might be jealous of that. They might not have as much as you. If you're that Virgo and that's your predicament, they're competing with you. Okay. That's the message for that. They're competing with you. Um, they don't want you to have more than them. Okay. That's ego. I'm telling you. <sighs> there you go. You could be dealing with a narcissist here. Hey, someone, and, and even if they're not a narcissist, it's selfishness. Someone is too full of themselves. So that's just strict selfish, strictly selfish behavior. Yeah, this, is, this reading is something. So if you're dealing with someone, so narcissism, malignant narcissism cannot be changed, okay? And I, I have to say, I mean, people who have extreme malignant narcissism, they, if they learn, they could change their behavior, but it doesn't come from a true core of empathy and compassion for another person. It comes from them being able to, it's manipulative, okay? I will say that I did not pick narcissism up in this reading. You might just be thinking that they are one, which... To be on the spectrum of nar everybody's got narcissistic traits, okay? We can all be selfish at times. Um, you might be picking, you might be labeling them this, and unless you have a diagnosis, you really don't know. Um, there are people who are just extremely selfish, but that doesn't make them narcissists, okay? Um, because narcissism comes with uh, a manipulation to abuse. Some people are just happy-go-lucky, jolly, and they're the life of the party, and they just love themselves, but they don't ever intend to hurt other people, okay? I feel like the person that you're dealing with here is just very focused on themselves and nobody else can come in. They are the the king of the hill, the queen of the castle. They are all about themselves, okay? Doesn't make them a narcissist, but it does leave lack of sacrifice and it does leave you on the back burner, which is why we're gonna go to the extended and see what the shift and the change is going to be here and why this person's going to do right or try to do right by you all right let me give you some all right so you have capricorn you have gemini you have scorpio and leo so these are the person that you could be dealing with or the people all right september 4th birthday september 8th somebody could be 48 um august 29th Someone could be 61. We have 1984 or born in 61. Someone could be 70 or born in 1970. Someone could be 58 or born in 58. It could be 51, 52. Okay, August Virgo's in the house here. Someone's 35. Someone's 46. We have September 19th and September 20th. And September 22nd. Now, I don't know if that, I think that's still Virgo. I can't remember. Sometimes it changes. It could also be Libra. 1988. Someone is 42, 41, are going to be 42. 1975. Birthday, September 16th, September 11th. All right, someone is born in April. Okay, I'm picking up the name Jess, Jess, Jessica, Jesse. I'm picking up Brian. Oh, Mama, M-A-M-A. -A -M -A. All right, someone's a mama. Someone calls the, maybe your kids or call someone a mama or call you mama. Hey, mama. <laughs> also, someone's in MMA, does MMA. I guess that's like. Mixed martial arts kind of fighting. Uh, someone is Chinese or from China. 
Okay, someone works in the bio biomedical field or is updating their bio somewhere or just did. We have Jeb, Jeb. Um, oh, first it was S-E. Oh, Des, Desi, Derek, I'm hearing. Someone's drinking Mio, putting Mio in their, their drink. We have Ho, someone's a Ho. <laughs> Just kidding. You're not a hoe. Um, let's see. Uh, someone is going home or is looking at homes or buying homes or looking at homes right now or, or just purchased a home or is going to be purchasing a home or a new home very soon. Okay, hold on. Uh, mama, mommy. <laughs> New mommy, new mama, definitely showing up here. Okay, you have two X's, so, oh, my goodness. I don't know if you can see that right there, but someone thinks you're very sexy. Sexy mama is what I'm hearing. Or you say that to someone. This is your person, sexy mama. That could be, you're like, whatever. Um, someone's changing their HMO or doing something with the HMO. Someone is meditating practicing the ohm definitely an ohm all right um bonham is that the name bonham b-o-n-h-a-m i just picked up bonham could be somebody's last name or bone or moan mo mo mohan it, it feels like it, there's an o and an h there's a b in there somewhere there's an m i'm picking up someone really yeah there's definitely a, they're just saying oxo kisses and hugs they're giving me oxo kisses and hugs okay is there anything else oh they're saying memes someone's sending a meme or sent a meme to someone maybe you sent a meme to your person funny meme i'm picking up all right let's check out your your charms see what charms you have for your reading and again i'm going to go into the extended reading the link will be in the description box below all right you've got three charms here so you have a rhinoceros oh all right so they just said very thick skinned someone is very thick skinned someone here is very thick skinned and maybe you saw a rhinoceros somewhere at the zoo Re someone recently go to the zoo someone's trying to just break through a stubborn and you're trying to break through stubborn energy uh, that's what i'm hearing like you need a hacksaw just to get through that someone is extremely stubborn <laughs> um so you might be working with a tool doing some sawing or working with some blades or doing something with blades Maybe you're somebody just said building a house. Somebody's building a house. All right. So two things. So you have the ex, the infinity symbol. Okay. Uh, what goes around comes around, right? That's the message here. Um, but also you have the number eight. So eight is significant. It could be the day of your birth or someone you're connected to. All right. So. I'm going to leave that there. That was an interesting message. I am going to go over, like I said, to the extended reading. Link will be in the description box below. So we'll see what's going on here with this King of Cups, the Magician, and the Justice card with someone here trying to do something right by you. Um, I will say, I feel like it's going to have a lot to do before, like I said before, with, with you deciding that maybe this isn't going to work out for you. Um, are they going to come forward and do right by you and really make something happen here? We're going to find out. That's what it looks like. Um, maybe a little wake-up call. I wouldn't be surprised if the judgment card shows up. So, yep, that's going to be your reading. All right, you guys. So thanks for listening, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Take care. Bye.